rather than allow people to use this as an opportunity for... Getting the government to do something to try and stop it happening no, I think again? It's abso Apo apologies if you're getting annoyed yes. that I want sprinkler systems in these tower blocks, but I want sprinklers in these tower blocks, Michael. And now you've had the good grace so to come in today I. from Thank the government. You. you represent your government, you yes. represent your Prime Minister. If I'm in one of these tower blocks, I damn well want a sprinkler system and I want it done immediately. Piers. Why shouldn't we have that? We should absolutely have the very best safety measures. The reason why I paused there, Piers, is because I feel as I said earlier, emotionally distraught about this. I want everything possible to be done. There are people who are friends of mine and with whom I've worked who've been directly affected. And all I would say is, of course there should be passion, but please don't turn your understandable distress and your anger on behalf of... My distress is for these distressed and people. And your anger on behalf of other people into an opportunity to... Um, to what? Well, well, one of the things I'm concerned about... What is, do you think I'm doing? Um, one of the things I'm concerned about is making sure that our response to this puts the victims first. And one of the ways in which we can ensure that we put the victims first is by responding at speed, yes, but with calmness and not... Our fire and services. Not, no, no, Piers. Yeah, we can keep talking. I can put another thing to you. Yeah, our yeah, fire, yeah, I will, our I will. fire service Piers. did a brilliant job on Wednesday, right? They saved countless yes. lives. They are absolute heroes. They also had no equipment that could get to the higher levels of this tower. As a matter of urgency, given there are thousands of other mm. towers like this, any of which could go up in flames at any moment if this cladding is on them, right? Are we going to provide our emergency services with new equipment or new ways of tackling a high-rise fire in light of the fact that they clearly were incapable of getting to the top floors to save people's lives? The, um, the fire service will get everything they absolutely need and all our emergency services will get everything that they absolutely need to deal with the situation. But the point that I was trying to make earlier is that all of us will be helped if we conduct this debate, obviously fired by a sense of, you know, anger at what's happened, but also a sense of proportion. And one of the things that I would say as well, Piers, is that it's important as we look at what's happened to get to the right answers. You make a point about sprinkler systems, it's a fair one. But um, the, the determination to get to the heart of things that I have and other ministers have is one that manifests itself by talking to people on the ground getting to the heart of the situation. And as I mentioned earlier, it doesn't help anyone if we allow, understandable though it is, emotion to cloud reason well, at yeah, this okay. point. The emotion is anger on behalf of these poor people who lost their lives. And do you lives. think I don't feel that? No, I'm sure you do, but you're unfortunately, unlike me, you're in a position to do something about and this I am. again. Philip Hammond and said... And you're in a position to do something about it as well. Correct. Philip you Hammond... have a responsibility. Right, here's my you responsibility. have a responsibility and others have a responsibility, yeah, responsibility... to look coolly at yeah. this situation Actually, you know what? and not to try to be yeah, theatrical. You know what? You can stick your coolness where the sun don't shine. I don't feel cool about this. I feel very angry about these people. So I feel very angry I, about the other people currently living in terror that this may happen to their tower blocks. Philip Hammond said yesterday, categorically... Uh, uh, Piers, I don't think that language like that is appropriate when we're reflecting on the I don't give a damn like what you think. Don't you? No, I don't. Well, why do you invite me on your programme? Because if you're going to say, I, I've got no right to feel passionate or angry or emotional about this, I don't give a damn whether you think I've got the right to do that. This has been a total think... disgrace. Philip Hammond said yesterday that categorically the cladding that had been used in this particular disaster was banned in this country, right? Was he right to say that? Um, Piers, actually he said that he understood and it would be a matter of criminal investigation. Is it banned? Once again, Piers, your... Look... Is it I'm, I've come on and I'm happy to talk to you at any point about how, what we can do practically to do this. But Piers, what you're doing is deliberately seeking to um, uh, heighten the temperature rather than seeking to reason um, and, to, uh, and to think about what we need to do. Of course we need to find out exactly what the position is with this cladding. It is part of what is potentially a criminal investigation. Is the cladding banned? It is part of what is potentially a criminal investigation. Is it banned? Well, Philip Hammond uh, said it was. No. Other people say it isn't. No, he didn't, Piers. He said that he understood that it was and that would be subject to a criminal so if investigation. We, if, a, if a cabinet minister says he understands something is banned, that doesn't mean he thinks it's banned. Well, if you look exactly at what he said, you'll see that he used his words particularly carefully. Mm. And all of us, including you, Piers, should use our words carefully because mm. what we need to do is not to have a series of 
rhetorical showboating exercises. What we need it's is... It's not a... showboating, Michael. What we need is Hundreds a Hundreds calm... of people, potentially, have been killed by a devastating fire, which should never have happened, and I'm afraid they, they, they're, I... the blood of these people is on the hands of the politicians from all sides, by the way, but you're the current government in power and have been for a number of years. This should never have happened. This targeted the most poor and vulnerable people in our society. They had no sprinkler system, no alarm system that worked, one way of getting out, no emergency service capability to get to the higher levels. These are legitimate questions yes, they are. which you should be asked as a cabinet minister. And you shouldn't be getting all touchy about the way that I emotionally phrase my questions. You should be giving us straight answers. You've had six days to work out the answers. Well, uh, I came into the cabinet six days ago. You're absolutely right. And one of the things that I've tried to do is to get to the heart of things, which is why I've talked to people involved uh, visited um, the immediate area and why I'm trying because I think that the important thing in government is certainly to appreciate the sense and the depth of emotion. I feel it myself, Piers, as you earlier were generous enough to acknowledge.